Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, things I forget to say in my videos. So a bit of a weird video today, but one that I wanted to make because it has been bugging me that there are a number of things that I should probably say in, in most, if not all of my videos, and which I always forget to say. Um, you may consider it a good thing that I don't say them in all of my videos because it would probably get a bit repetitive if I did. So I thought I would make one video where I say all of those things and then you can mentally insert them into my videos in the future. Um, so let me start going through this list of random things. So the first one is the most important important one which is thank you thank you for taking the time to watch my videos I really do appreciate it I still don't understand why people watch my videos um, but I'm truly truly glad that people do so thank you for taking the time out of your days we're all busy we've all got multiple demands on our time so I really do appreciate the fact that you take time to watch my videos whether you watch you know regularly or whether you just dip in every so often thank you I really do appreciate it um the second thing then is the, the YouTube cliche, which is like and subscribe. So I don't say that in my videos. I deliberately don't say it. I kind of chose at the start not to always say that. I do have that little uh, kind of graphic thing that appears, but I just wanted to talk about it quickly because whilst it has become a bit of a cliche on YouTube that people say it, it is actually important. It does help the channel it does help me and and hopefully it helps you as well if you like videos that you like and if you subscribe to channels that you like youtube will get better at recommending stuff to you that you like um, so it helps train the algorithm to give you better content so if you're someone who watches my videos you know fairly regularly because they pop up in your feed that's because youtube recognizes that you like watching them subscribing to the channel would would help me because it gives me more subscribers uh, but it would also help you because it will mean you'll get my videos in your subscription feed um, as well as them just randomly popping up on your home screen so yeah if you if you do like my content and you're not a subscriber already it will be lovely if you subscribed but equally if you don't want to absolutely fine the next thing then um, is different ways that you can you can contact me and get like get in touch with me and interact with me so at the start of every video you get this little uh, you get the little QR code that pops up there um, if you watch my videos through to the end you will know you also get it in the end screen um, this little QR code here I'll show it to you again I'll put it up there um, if you scan that so if you're watching this video on your TV and I know a lot of people do or, or on a laptop if you scan that QR code with the camera on your mobile phone, it will take you to my link tree. And I'll tell you what my link tree is in a moment. You can also click on that QR code. So if you're watching on a laptop at the end of my videos, you can click on the, the, the QR code that appears there. Um, and you will also find in the description to all of my videos a link to my link tree. So what is link tree? So link tree is like a, a, like a mini website that has all, links to all the different places you can interact with me. So if you fancy getting in touch with me outside of YouTube, outside of watching my videos on YouTube and commenting on them, then you can you know find different ways to do that in my link tree. So the different things that are in there are my Discord server, which is probably the most important one. So my Discord server is quite an active community of book lovers so it's not just me there's a there's a thousand people who are members of it and we just chat about books and other stuff so you can you, you know more than welcome to join us there it's completely free um, and you can just you know see what we talk about and chat about books and movies and all sorts of different things should you want to um, so you've got that you've also got links to my instagram um, where i post i'm terrible at posting on instagram i should try and post every day and every so often i try and do that and i usually fall out of the habit again fairly quickly but i usually post at least once a week just you know something about what i'm reading and i post like things in my stories on instagram that i find interesting as well um so you've got that you've got my goodreads and goodreads i am better at so i do log everything i read on goodreads so if you want to know what i've been reading ahead of my weekly update videos um if you if you like friend me on goodreads or follow me on goodreads you'll be able to see what i'm reading all the time um, and i usually try and do like short reviews of books when i finish them as well uh, you've also got threads which i've started using recently so threads if you don't know being the uh, the meta version of twitter so twitter i've stopped using recently because it seems to have gone completely down the pan since mr musk took over um, but thread seems to be a friendlier community 
they don't have ads and things like that at the moment so it's it's a reasonably nice place to hang out so i do post occasionally on threads uh, and you'll find that in there as well you'll also find a link to my wordpress blog which i used to update very regularly like a couple of times a week i have since i started the channel i just don't have time to do that anymore but what you will find on there is a like a library of text reviews that I've written for various books over the years. So you might want to check that out. Um, you've also got my email address in there, should you want to email me, um, and my postal address, should you want to send me a letter or anything in the post. Um, and then finally in there, you'll also find links to my Patreon and my YouTube channel memberships. So those are ways that you can pay up like a monthly subscription fee and get additional content and other perks and things like that from me. Um, so that's what's in that little QR code. There it is again, should you want to scan it on your phone now that I've told you what it is. Um, so yeah, so that's the QR code. And then the other thing, and as I also said, the link to that link tree is in the description for all of my videos. The other thing you will usually find in the descriptions to my videos is something relating to the content of that video. So for example, when I do a weekly wrap up, in the descriptions of the video, I will list the books and authors that I've talked about. And if I mention other channels, I usually link to those channels and things like that in there. So if I'm speaking too quickly or mumbling or whatever, and you don't quite catch the title of a book that I mention, if you check the description, you'll usually find it in there. Um, the other thing I do, so when I do a review video, which I normally do on a Thursday, pretty much every Thursday I do like a single book review normally, you will find in the description to those videos two things. So one, you will find information about the book. So I'll list things like the author, the title, the publisher, when it was published, how many pages it is, what the ISBN number is, things like that. So useful information about the book. And also content warnings. So, you know, particular things in that book that some people might want to be aware of. Um, that you know that may be triggering or upsetting for them so I include those as well and clearly you don't have to look at that if you don't want to but I try and do it in a non-spoilery way um, so you've got that in there and then you've also got a link usually to my bookshop so bookshop if you don't know is a website that allows independent bookshops to sell books online so obviously you know Amazon is the you know the, the dominant force in online book selling nowadays um, but bookshop allows independent bookshops to have a like a, an online shop front that they can sell from what it also allows creators like me to do is create their own bookshop um, so whenever I talk about a book uh, whenever I do, whenever I do a review of a book on the channel there will be a link in the description to the bookshop uh, in both the US and UK where you can buy a copy of that book, like not from Amazon. So it will ship from a local independent bookstore to you. Um, if you click on that link and buy the book from my bookshop, I get a small commission um, and you know the, the, the order will go, as I say, to a local bookshop to you who will ship the book to you. Um, so it's a way of, of not buying Amazon and also of supporting the channel. Um, so yeah, just wanted to make people aware of that if they weren't, because I should, I should cert this is something I should certainly say in my review videos is at the end, check the description for more information about the book and a link to where you can buy it. I always, always, without fail, forget to say that. Um, so that is in all of my videos as well. Anyway, that was everything I wanted to say. That is all the stuff I think that I forget to say in all of my videos. I've probably forgotten at least one thing. Um, so if I do, I'll try and remember to put that in the comments. Anyway, I will leave it there for now and say, as always, thanks very much for watching. I hope you're safe and well out there. I hope you're reading good stuff. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.